All right. Here's the deal. We are on episode three of Bloom Into You. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Bloom Into You. Now, after watching the third episode, Bloom To You, it gave us so many hints in this. Like, I'm sure that everybody who followed the three episode rule gave this show a chance and wants to move on for next week's episode. Truth be told, this is way better than the manga. I'll be honest, it is. And the idea of Yuri doesn't, the, I mean, the idea of Yuri comes once in a blue moon. Like, it's like, how about this? My, okay, it's like this. We don't really talk about Yuri because Yuri's not really there. It's there, but nobody don't care. Like, while all the other shows that has Yaoi in it, we talk about it a lot. Even when it is shown in animes, whether you, if you watch My Hero Academia, uh, Black Clover, and so on and so on, we only ship in guys. We don't ship the girls. And I don't know why, it's just that some of us don't, some people don't care about the eeriness. I do. I support the eerie because the fact that it, that, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying I don't respect the Yaoi. Don't get me wrong, I do. It's just that we need to talk about Yuri this year. Citrus, you kidding me? We got it. We talked about it, and look where you're getting off. It's getting a spinoff. Blooming to you, you guys need to show, they showing us so many hints, so many passions, the passion, the Yuri-ness in episode three. Hints that showed us why we love Blooming to you. Like, okay, I'll be honest. Hint number one, um, you and Nanami, they're walking together, and you, I mean, Nanami gave you a bottle of juice, you know, let her drink it, and then she goes on, she got her bottle, and she drank it. That's his indirect kiss. They did an indirect kiss. That's how close as Yuri as you, as you can get. That is like hint number one. The indirect kiss showed, showed, the, showed those two love each other. Now, I know Nanami confessed to you, but you don't feel it yet. But truth be told, there's a time when you finally, finally feels it that she has a thing for Nanami. Now, being that this is a slow romance pacing, it did, de like I said before, it did demonstrate some yuriness with you and Nanami's relationship. Other than an indirect kiss, they went to the bookstore. But Nanami didn't know that you works at the same bookstore with her family. Now, it, now, I gotta be honest, you's parents are great. The big sister, like, you's big sister, she knows that there's relationship going on between you and Anami. Like, she, for a big sister like her, she, she knows that there's Yuri involved with those two. Like, she's like, like, the moment she came in, she's like, oh, is that your, oh, was that your girlfriend or something? That literally gave out hints that, that's hint number two. The big sister just like, she knows. Like, she knows there's a connection between you and Nanami. Now, the father. Now, it is a clip, like around five minutes, the father said, I won't be shocked if you, I won't be shocked, you know, that kind of thing. But you's father, I get it. I kind of get him. Like, okay, let's be real, guys. If you were a father and, and, your daughter turned your daughter turns out to be a lesbian. Daughter wants to become a lesbian. Would you be mad? No. I'll be honest. I won't be mad because if okay, if I was used that, and if you and be honest, and if you comes in saying that she's a lesbian, I won't be and I won't be mad because if it's like I'm okay the way she is. I'm okay, like, if she wants to be a bisexual, if she wants to be a lesbian, if she wants to be straight, that's fine. It's not going to bother me. That's what we want in the society of the, the world that we live in. doesn't matter if a person wants to be gay. doesn't matter if the person's a lesbian. doesn't matter if a person's bisexual, transgender, or straight. They are who they are. And seeing how the father saying he won't be shocked about it, that shows that he don't care if you turn out to be a lesbian. Which, by the way, makes, which, by the way, kind of like demonstrates a sign of parenthood. You know what I mean? Kind of demonstrating how you's father really is. Now, Nanami, she's so cute with long black hair. She, to me, I think she outranked May and Citrus. 
It's something about Nanami's thing that stands out to like, wow. See how pure long black hair is compared to her and then compared to May. She's more, more open up. I mean, May, I, I get it. May's backstory, okay, I get it. In Citrus, May's backstory was so dark that it was like a locked bird cage. A, a bird stuck in a cage and it's locked. Whereas Nanami's opened up, she kind of like release it and, you know, being open to you. So she gave her a present, which is a planetary, a planet, planetarium thing, globe, that you turn off the lights and you see the stars. Oh my God, the stars. And that's what, and she, she felt that like, wow, it's the beauty. She symbolized in Nanami as the stars in her life. You know, that's the, so election day has come and Nanami wants to, Nanami and and you are outside, just, they're outside getting some fresh air before they talk on stage. You and Nanami, I mean, Nanami was open up. Nanami was open up. I mean, she grabbed her sh collar, her, her sleeves. She grabbed her collar sleeve down here. She grabbed it and then she, she told her, she told her about her past, about she was so shy. She was so, she was so scared not being herself, all that. And that she hugged her you, like Nanami's head just literally pat was on you's head like this. I mean, you showed her, and you just patted her head and moving her hand slowly with her black hair. That's how romance eeriness that you're gonna get. That's like another hint right there. See what I mean? That's literally wow. Like that, those moments that you see proves that they're gonna be together. That just proves it. And and, okay, let me be honest with you. When you're doing elections, why the kids were sitting down? Like, when they do student council presidents thing, like the meetings, or the, they, I, like the assembly line, all the kids sitting on chairs. But in this, everyone was sitting on the floor. I'm like, what the hell? Where's the chairs at? Where's the chairs? They're sitting on floors. What the hell? But you got to give props to you. Stepping up out of her game. Saying what she's saying to Nanami, like she's been really helpful. I think we should support her. All that stuff. And after her, long story short, after her speech, she, Nanami, felt that like, the like a boom, 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 boom. She felt that spark. Like that's the one. She freaking felt that, guys. Now, after the election, she Nanami just screwed up hot. I mean, I don't know if I'm team. Right now, I'm in the crosshairs between Team You or Team Nanami. I don't know. I'm in stuck between the middle. I mean, in Citrus, I'm Team Yuzu, without a doubt. But this, I think I'm Team Nanami. I think so. I want to believe that, but I can't. But anyway, at the end, she kissed. At the end, she, she, uh, she gave. She went by. She went behind, hugged her behind her, and said, "I like you," and right by her ear. That's like a blow in the ear. Like, that's like, damn. It's hot. It's really getting good. But in due time, Yuzu, I mean, in due time, you will be really open to Nanami's sake. I'm not going to tell you when, but it will happen. But you got to love Nanami's moment in this episode, given the, being that she's being, she's open to you, you and being all out, and being how, you know, open-minded she is now, she's really and passionate and she's kind. That's that's what I like about her. You know what I mean? She's just she's just open kinded. Still though, but episode three of this ep but episode three proved that the eeriness of this show is rising. In the slow pacing of these first three episodes, you could tell that this is some like not mid tier, but you could say a, like I said, a slow level of eerie as it rises. I mean, episode three gave out so many hints. The indirect kiss with the bottle, the big sister, even outside by the playground, where you with you like pet her hair and just flowing with the hair, and not to mention by hugging her at the end and saying I like you, and she come on right by your ear. Those are so many hints, and it's, I like how they slow pace in this. I like how they slow pace in this given the stand, given the circumstances of the show. But still, this is great. Now I'm not now I get it. Blooming to you is not that great hype show but it's still great to talk about yuri these days 
All of us who watch Citrus, give this show a chance. I'm telling you, you're going to like it. But I like how episode 3 brings up the hint of the uriness between you and Nanami is. So, I'm looking forward for episode 4. Now, before I begin, I mean, before I, you know, before I pause this video, I'm just going to say that next week, I'm not going to do episode 4 on the same day. Something came up. So, I'm going to do Blooming T I'm going to do the episode 4 review on Monday. So, I look forward to do the review on Monday when it comes. I mean, I look forward to do the review on Monday. So, I hope to see you soon.